welcome back to another video and in this video I will do a screen recording like before and I will show the coding of the AMPM flag inversion and the rollover so that doesn't work uh, by now so as you have seen I followed the test that Frank Plus had written back in 2014 this is from a groups Google groups thing and um, there are two things we can look at. One is when we set the time, then read back. And it's when the time is running and rolls over. So that's two different things that we can uh, focus on. So the first thing I will focus on is that if time is 12 a.m. or 12 p.m., then it will flip the a.m. p.m. flag or invert it. When it goes from 11 to 12, it also inverts the AM PM flag, like here. So that will be two different things we can fix and look at in the video. All right, let's have a look at the AM PM bit. But first, let's just remove this uh, time of day latch. So there are three things we want to look at. And so for one, we don't want that zero zero up there. We want a time that goes from 1 to 12.59. The second thing is writing 12 inverts the PM bit. And we can also see that uh, that's not actually happening right now. And rolling to 12 inverts the PM bit also. As you can see the second one there. So here we can see the clock is initialized. And the alarm is also initialized to zero, so that's also incorrect. So I have to fix that. So let's have a look at writing 12 into this register, the time of day. So this is the part where we write in all the write latches. And there you can see Todd our write latch, and we want to put in a test here to see if the time we put into the data bus from the CPU is 12. So I didn't figure out right away how to do that because, uh, well, I had to look it up in the data sheet. So you can see that um, right here, Todd Hour, there's HH, which is, which is the second digit of the hour. That must be one. So bit five must be one. And then 3 down to 0, sorry, bit 4 must be 1. And then 3 down to 0 must be 2. Then we are writing 12. So here we want to write into the latch where we invert the 7th bit, which is PM. Uh, we also want to pad with some zeros. The second line there is uh, when uh, it's the same line. But there, the uh, PM bit is not inverted. All right, so let's have a look at that uh, rollover to 12 o'clock. That's when we're going to flip the PM flag or bit. So here at the top of the process is where we have our variables and they are here. When the time is ticking, we first want to load the variables with the value of time. Then here we have plus one on tenth, and that will uh, ripple into all the other seconds, minutes, and hours, and so on. But before I look at that AMPM rollover thing, let's uh, look at the initialization of the clock. So here we set it to zero, so that's an, an invalid number for the clock. So the alarm also has to be a one as well as the time. So yeah, so in here is when the hour changes. So I wanted to check the AM uh, PM flag, but I made a mistake, so we will come back to that later. So here is where the variables are converted back into the clock register though, so. 
all right so I programmed the thing and uh, what we tried to fix now was that AM PM uh, thing or the inversion of the PM flag if you set the time to 12 that doesn't work as you can see it says 12 that's what we write and then it goes to 12 so it's supposed to flip the PM flag so that's wrong it's supposed to say 92 and then to the far to the right it says 92 there it's supposed to go to 12 and therefore you get wrong there also um, the other thing we fixed was the, was the time of day itself so when it rolls over it doesn't go to zero zero anymore it goes to zero one that's exactly what we want also so that part is working so a lot more is working now but that inversion is not no longer working <laughs> that inversion of the PM flag is no longer working so we have to fix uh, the problem we have here so so let's look at this first bug where we write 12 and then we invert the PM flag if it's another number we don't invert it look this statement here overrides all the other statements above you must remember that all signals change in a process at the same time at the clock event so you can't have uh, more than one statement at the end of the process there so we have something more working now and you can see when we write then we back like 11 11 that's working 12 goes to 92 that's working 91 to 91 which is 11 anyway that's working 92 goes to 12 that's also working so what's not working anymore is the rollover so it's flipping the AMP and flag when it goes from uh, PM12 to 01 it's supposed to flip when it goes from 11 to 12 alright so didn't see it last time went here I'm testing 11 to 12 and when it I was thinking that when it was ticking it was going to change the AMP and flag but that doesn't work we need to check it when it rolls from 60 minutes over to the next hour in here because that only happens once per hour not every tick so <laughs> that was the problem we had yeah also you can see here that I fixed the 12 hour clock so it goes to 12 and then back to 1 down there also right so now it's correct all over so I had a problem with the AM PM flipping it was actually flipping for every tick of the tenth if you read the code in that way so I moved the test for flipping the AM PM flag only if the minutes go from 59 to 00, zero. so that's good so now all of those are working yeah, so let's try the dead test cartridge this turn it on There is time, okay, so time is working. Now it says, it says PM. Uh, yeah, I think it used to do that before also. 